Well, the Calgary Flames make their pick at 24th overall, and it is uh, the pride of Saskatoon, Kamloops Blazers center, Connor Zeri. Uh, you got the hat, you got the jersey. What was it like to hear Lanny McDonald call your name? Oh, it was unbelievable. It's, I was kind of waiting and waiting. I, I kind of thought Calgary would be one of those teams that, that would select me, and to have a guy like Lanny McDonald, a legend like that, uh, unbelievable feeling to call it your name when, when you have someone in love. Lanny, McDon- Lanny McDonald calling your name. It's, it's, it's so special. Uh, what gave you that uh, feeling? What, uh, what, why'd you have a good feeling about Calgary? Uh, I think just talked to them a lot leading up to the draft. And I feel like we both felt, <laughs> we felt, we felt comfortable with each other. And uh, I felt like they, they really took interest in me. So uh, to see that kind of come into fruition is, is pretty special. Well, hey, and growing up in Saskatoon, uh, obviously close proximity to Calgary. I mean, what's your tie to the organization? Was there some fandom there before? Or what, uh, what do you like about Calgary? Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty special that it's close to, close to where I've grown up in Saskatoon. And I've been in the Saddle a lot. I've, I've never watched a Flames game. I've never even watched an NHL game live. So I've always been too busy with my own hockey. But, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty special place. I, I've played in the Max quite a bit. And kind of just being in Alberta, right beside Saskatchewan, I'm – it's pretty special to stay in Canada and, and especially in a place like Calgary is going to be pretty special. We heard that little eruption there as we're, uh, we're talking now, lots of great energy in that house right now. Who are you share? Who are you sharing this moment with and, and this celebration tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm sharing it with my, my close family and friends. I got my, my mom and my dad and my brother and my grandma's uncle, auntie, cousin. I got a bunch of, bunch of friends here and, and my agent and, and it's pretty special. Special. I wish I could have had more people here and everyone just kind of helped me along the way through minor hockey all the way up and to the WHL and to this moment now. But uh, we had to keep it a tight group and a lot of special people here be able to share this moment with me. I'm sure your phone's blowing up uh, as we speak. Uh, yeah, I know this is a little different this year, but just how special is it to, you know, obviously, as you mentioned, all those people you're sharing it with right now, but just uh, going through this process and now becoming a member of the Calgary Flames. Yeah, it's, it's pretty special no matter what. I obviously would have been cool being up on stage and getting my name called and be able to come down and get my jerseys and all that. But being home is just as special and being with more family members and, and more friends and had my auntie in my ear uh, gambling picks of, of who's going to take me or not. So <laughs> a little bit extra added excitement uh, with, a, with a couple more people here. Yeah, keep it exciting as it goes along. Huh? <laughs> exactly. Uh, listen, we see the point totals uh, three years in Kamloops and, uh, you know, kept rising up until 86 points this past season. Uh, you know, maybe just tell us a little bit about your game. Uh, we heard a little bit of it uh, on the draft floor, but just, uh, you know, what makes you uh, the offensive producer that you've become? Yeah, I think just my, my 200 foot game and, and my work ethic is what kind of feeds into it. Obviously, I think I've always had lots of skill and a high hockey IQ to be able to make those plays, but I think kind of developing a um, a 200 foot game and and really uh, zoning in on my D zone and allowing me to get the puck and, and have the puck more and kind of make more plays with it is is what fed into my skill and my point production. I feel like. Well, and hey, 38 goals. Uh, you had a few of them to celebrate, but uh, it, it looked like you're a guy that liked to uh, you know feed into those celebrations a little as well. I mean, how much do you enjoy the goal scoring portion? Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing better, right, except for winning. So I think any time I can score a goal or, or help my team win a game, I'm, I'm pumped. And I just love being around the boys and, and around the, the hockey atmosphere and, and everything to, the, to do with it. Uh, it, it just uh, fires a little, feels a little fire in me. And uh, uh, all I can say is, is uh, I like to score and celebrating comes with that and kind of earned it and show a little bit of emotion. Love it. Hey, listen, we appreciate it. We'll let you get back to that crowd. Enjoy the moment tonight and uh, the rest of the week. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in Calgary sometime soon. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. That's a great. Appreciate it. Okay, appreciate have it. a good night. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Talk soon. Bye-bye.